Custom formatting is not only used for disguising numbers in different ways, but it can also be interactive and take your report or dashboard to a whole different level. I am Nabil Murad. In a previous tutorial, I created a comparison dashboard that summarizes thousands of records, comparing the sales of different managers between two years. And a slicer for the region made it interactive. Today, I will considerably improve this dashboard by adding interactive custom formats. Let's see that project. Here is my source data where I have a list showing a date, a region, manager, and sales with transactions for 2022 and 2023. I have tens of thousands of records. I created a pivot table out of this source data that shows the sum of sales for each one of the managers in each year. And then I visualized my data by creating an interactive comparison dashboard that compared the sales in each year for each manager. It's fully interactive, so if I select a region like the North region, now everything is changing, everything is beautiful and dynamic. Today, I want to take this project to a whole different level. I will be creating a column that shows the year-over-year -year change. If there is an increase, then the percentage of increase appears in green. If there is a decrease, then the percentage of decrease appears in red. An up-pointing green triangle and a down-pointing red triangle emphasizes the point and is fully interactive. So if I select the East region, all the numbers change. If I select another region, everything is beautiful and dynamic. You can watch the previous tutorial by clicking on the link below this video. And now I'm going to create this column and apply the beautiful custom format you see in front of you. Let's get started. I start my project by creating a simple function that shows the change in sales between 2022 and 2023. Then I'll be typing an equal sign. I open bracket. I click on the 2023 sales in cell K5, and then I subtract the 2022 sales from cell F5. I close the bracket, and then I divide by cell K5. When I hit enter, this is what I'm getting. This is the change year over year. I'm going to copy this function on the way down by double clicking on the autofill handle and I get the difference from one year to another year. This column which shows the change year over year is not really interesting, is not eye catching. I'm going to change it considerably. I want to create a custom number format that shows a percentage. When we apply custom formatting to a cell, Custom format consists of four sections. The first section is for positive numbers. The second one is for negative numbers. Other sections can be omitted. So I'm going to apply a percentage custom number format and then improve it gradually. I select the whole range and then I hit the shortcut control one to open the format cell dialog box. I click on custom and then in the box under type, I delete the word general and I type 0.00%. .00 that's for positive numbers. I type a semicolon, and for the negative section, I type minus 0.00%. When I hit OK, now the numbers look much better and easy to read. But we want to improve it even more. When there is an increase, I want that increase to appear in green. When there is a decrease, I want that decrease to appear in red. I did an up-pointing triangle to demonstrate the increase, and a down-pointing triangle to show that there is a decrease. I need to bring these triangles first. I can bring them outside, or I can bring them in the custom format dialog box by using a shortcut. So I show you where to find this triangle, the up-pointing and the down-pointing triangle. I select any cell. I click on the Insert tab of the ribbon, and to the far right, I click on Symbol. The Symbols dialog box opens. You have to select the Arial font, and when you scroll down, you will see this triangle that I'm going to use. Here are the triangles that I want to use. I can use the up-pointing triangle, and I hit Insert. I can use the down-pointing triangle for the decrease, and I hit Insert. I have the two triangles. I can close the Symbols dialog box, and I can copy these triangles. An alternate way of doing things is by using a shortcut. So I'm going to copy these triangles for now, Control C to copy, because within the format cell dialog box, I cannot bring the symbols dialog box. 
I'm going to hit Escape, and now I want to reopen the custom format dialog box. I select the range to format, and I hit Control 1 to open the same dialog box. Here is the custom format, and here is the code I previously created. I'm going to add the triangles. So I click before the semicolon, I type a space, and I want to paste both triangles and delete the down-pointing triangle, keeping only the up-pointing triangle, because this is the positive section. Alternatively, I can use the shortcut Alt-3-0, and it creates the up-pointing triangle for me. I click at the very end, I type a space, that's the negative section where I need the down-pointing triangle, as I mentioned, you can paste what you copied, or you can use another shortcut, Alt-3-1, to bring the down-pointing triangle. Now let's have a look. When I hit OK, then I have an up-pointing and a down-pointing triangle. We need to improve it even more, so I'm going to add the colors. I hit Control-1 to open the Format Cell dialog box. I click at the beginning, and I want a green color. Then in square brackets, I'll be typing green, and I close the bracket. And for the negative section, right after the semicolon, in square brackets, I'll be typing red, and I close the square bracket. When I hit enter, now I have a red color when there is a decrease, and I have a green color. But the green color is a little bit pale, so I want a gradient of green that matches the fonts. I'll be opening the format cell dialog box one more time, Control-1, and I'm going to use an index color, color 10. I replace the green by typing color 10. Now when I hit enter, I get a better color that matches the one I have for the font. The final thing I want to do, I want the number to be left aligned and I want the triangle to be right aligned. How in the world can I perform two different alignments in one single cell? Let's see how we do that. Control-1 to open the format cell dialog box and before the up-pointing triangle, I'm going to add a star. What does the star do? The star repeats whatever comes next. So if I type a space to separate the number from the triangle, then that will do the job. So I'll be typing following the star a little space. The star will keep repeating the space for the whole width of the column. For the down pointing triangle, I will do the same trick. I type a star followed by a space. And now when I hit enter, I get exactly what I want. It's fully interactive. So if I interact my dashboard by using the slicer, I click on the east region, all the numbers change and the triangles change as well. If I select the south region, the west region, the north region, everything is beautiful and fully interactive. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.